Once upon a time, in a dense forest brimming with vibrant life, there lived a cunning crow named Kali. His feathers gleamed like polished onyx, and his sharp eyes missed nothing. And like other crows who were content with mere scavenging, Kali thrived on solving problems and outwitting his adversaries, be they beast or bird. One summer day, the forest was parched. The sun blazed fiercely, drying up rivers and ponds. Animals wandered desperately, hoping to quench their thirst. Kali, too, felt the burn of thirst deep in his throat, but he knew panicking wouldn't help. Instead, he took to the skies to scout for water. After hours of searching, he spotted a clay pot partially buried in the ground near a cluster of rocks. His heart leapt, water shimmered within the pot. But as Kali landed and peered inside, he discovered a problem. The water level was too low for him to reach with his beak. Other birds had already tried, and many now lay slumped nearby, too weak to continue their efforts. Kali's sharp mind began to churn. He studied the pot, the stones scattered around it, and the dry forest beyond. An idea sparked. Let them call me cunning, he thought. I'll show them what true wit can achieve. He flew to a nearby tree and picked up a small pebble. Carrying it carefully, he dropped it into the pot. Asterisk plunk, asterisk. The water rippled slightly, rising a minuscule amount. Kali was undeterred. He continued the process, flying back and forth, dropping one pebble after another. Other creatures watched, too weary to help but too curious to look away. As more pebbles fell, the water level crept upward. At last, it was within reach. Kali dipped his beak into the pot and drank deeply, feeling the cool relief course through him. He paused, then stepped aside, and caught loudly. Come, friends, he called. There is enough for all. The animals hesitated, surprised by his generosity. But one by one, they approached, taking their turns drinking from the pot. Kali watched, satisfaction gleaming in his eyes. While he had been clever enough to solve the problem for himself, he chose to share his success with others a move no one expected from the cunning crow. In the days that followed, the animals spread tales of Kali's ingenuity and generosity. The once mistrusted crow became a symbol of not just cunning, but also kindness and leadership. And from then on, whenever a tricky problem arose, everyone knew they could count on Kali's keen mind and generous spirit to guide the way.